in the live review, right? In the live review of uh, the Sword and Shield set. If you want me to enlarge the cards or, you know, do something else, like, you know, uh, because got, I will be enlarging them. So don't worry about that. It's just like, if you want to fo focus uh, on some other card. All right. So this is Sword and Shield. Um, I mean, I know there's just this. Sword, shield, stuff, but we're just gonna browse through cards. Alright, so we start with sword, with translations, with Roselia, and I know you told me not to focus that much on the basics, and we will not. So Roselia, we're not gonna focus, but we're gonna focus on Roserade. Let's take a look and that's how it does it look. Okay, so I, wait. So I'm gonna have to figure out the screen. That's not that screen. Wait, because I, I, I do have to figure out the screen for a bit. Wait, I'm gonna do it. Okay, smaller. There we go. All right, there we go. I think that this is good now. All right, I think this is good now. And just listen. Uh, yeah, like now you can see the card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. There we go. And if I'm gonna, you know, make it small, there we go. All right. So the art looks good. What it does. Paralyze for the one grass type. Poison 30 damage. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. Flip a coin. If hit, it's paralyzed. Full second attack, 90, and you heal 30 damage from this Pokemon. Actually, for the grass type, I mean, I can see this, you know, in Conditions deck and with Toxic Rogue. Like, definitely, this is the thing that I'm gonna try to pull off. And that's it. Like, this is not gonna be like a tier one uh, material. Oh, the, yeah, it's gonna be a long one. All right, Maracatus. Uh, let's take a look at Maracatus. That's how he. Ooh, beautiful one. Beautiful one. So, shake 20 damage and the second attack, powerful needle. Flip a coin for each energy attached to this Pokemon. This attack does 60 damage for each heads. Wait, flip a coin for each energy. So, you flip a coin for each energy. Yeah, it is. It's a basic Blissey. To the certain degree. So let's say you have like four energy attached to it. So you flip four coins. Okay, not bad. I mean I can see in the gambling deck. We can we might actually see a gambling deck coming back uh on, on, on um, our YouTube channel. So Delmise V the first V card looks absolutely gorgeous. Honestly, this looks great. I don't even know what the card does, but the art looks great. 220 HP, a lot. But look at that beautiful art. So, Wrath of Wraths, 30 plus damage. If any of your grass type Pokemon were knocked out by damage from an opponent attack during their last turn, stack does 90 more damage. So, kind of like an anti uh, type of deal, all right? Or Umbreon, right? Like the baby Umbreon had, or Espion Umbreon, I believe, had the same, the same thing. And the Giga Ammo, 200 damage. This Pokemon can't use Giga Ammo. Alright, for the basic... I think 200 damage is not bad. But, I mean, huh. You see, like, this is my problem, you know. It's only a situational card. And the retreat cost of 2... I don't know, I, mean, I like it. Probably gonna build around it. But this is like really situational, because you can't really right now get three grass type like that. I mean, maybe with Victini, maybe, you know, in AD, with ADP. But yeah, it doesn't make any sense with ADP. So it's like, you know, okay, it's a cool idea. But nah. Thanks, but no thanks. Uh, Rillaboom, Rillaboom. Rillaboom. There we go. There should be an English version. Yeah, there we go. A nice English version. Voltage Beat. Once in your turn, you may search for your deck for up to two energy cards and attach them to one of your Pokemon. Okay, so this... Right, so I can see this Rillaboom actually working with the V card. But you have to, you know, get to Rillaboom first. But I feel like this is gonna be the... Uh, you know what? This reminds me a little bit of uh, Old Venusaur, like the one that made one grass type and one grass energy into two it yeah i mean it, it's a loose you know loose theory but it kind of reminds me of that and honestly this might be the fuel that certain grass type decks needed right like this might be the engine for those decks so like i know 
that Rillaboom is really good right now in Japan. And now I can see why, because if you have like two Rillabooms, all said, those are like, you know, full energy turns. And you have, you know, you have the Quick Bolt, you have the Incense, you have uh, Green's Exploration on top of that. Rare Candy, so you can just go, you have your Quick Bolt, so you have your, you have your Grookey, you go Green's Exploration, because Grookey doesn't have any ability, right? So you get your Green's Exploration, you go, you play Incense, you play Rare Candy, and there you go. So this is like a turn to play, to be quite honest, and not bad. Actually, not bad. I, I, I can... I'm gonna lie. I, I like it. I honestly do like it. Not gonna lie. I, I start to like it. Uh, Salanded. Right, let's go to the fire type. Salanded Salazzle. Set after Sword and Shield uh, with New State makes it only better. That's true. Set after Sword and Shield, it only makes it better. That is correct. I mean, this is gonna be a great engine. And I do think, you know, this is the card to hold. Right? Like... Keep it, if you pull it, keep it in your collection, because it might actually go up in price. I would say that. Not a lot, but a little bit. Hey, how's it going, Temi? Uh, we're doing a live review of the set. So definitely a good one here on that part. So yeah, grass types, good for you. All right, let's take a look at Salanded over here. With really bizarre art. By the way, I just wanted to point out, we do have S1V, right? Like that's... And the set symbol and like for Japan of course like what we what set we do have yeah we got you know the set symbol here like this uh, the, the shield literally and the D right the D block so it's gonna be easier for rotation so Salazel searing flame <coughs> <coughs> say hi to YouTube <laughs> uh, 20 damage your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned Okay, um, discards energy from this Pokemon. Well, I don't know, like, definitely not a fan of that. If you're into conditions, it's a filler card, exactly. It's just like, you know, a filler card for the set. I mean, I can see people trying to build a deck around it, myself included, but yeah, nothing really. Let's go to Senti Scorch, right? The first appearance of Senti Scorch in the TCJ. Uh, let's take a look over here. It looks absolutely gorgeous, you know, the art. I mean, the art style of that set. It's really good. Like, don't get me wrong, the art style is just perfect. All right, you know, okay, it has its flaws, but looks good. All right, so first attack. Flame spread, discard a card from the top of your opponent's deck. Uh, for each fight type energy attached to this Pokemon. Okay. We know that there are mill decks already, they've been. But if you I With cards like Bre Belbella and Bryceman, I think people will try to do mill decks. I'm gonna try myself. Because you remember, we've got Moltres. Right, and people tried Moltres with Mildex. Um, I mean, 10 fire energy, well, not really, but it, it's 130 HP, it's not bad. It has a 110 HP attack. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned, so it can attack as well. And I think, you know, 4 energy is kind of what you want from here. And yeah, like this might actually work. And you know what? I would even say this. I would say even this, uh, there is, oh, I forgot the name, there is a fire type uh, Pokemon, Cinderace, no, um, I've used it in my Moltres mail deck, if you put it stage 2, if you put that stage 2, right, it makes every energy of, into a fire, Typhlosion, there we go, that's that's what I'm talking about, uh, that's pokebeach.com right now, so you can actually go and play a TCE, one fire type energy and you're discarding four cards out of your opponent's uh, deck which is really 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 good right and honestly i think you know uh brassman bell bella maybe welder if, if you want to but you know not not really i see this as a mill deck definitely a good one let's go crabby first things first crabby okay his legs are looking okay uh, like this side, I'm just gonna copy and paste if you want to, that's the link. So let's take a look over here at Kingler. Again, really good art. Heavy 
pin pincers, heavy pincers, 40 damage, discard one card from top of your opponent's deck. Okay, so just one card. Chlorant, 90 plus damage. Active Booker has any damage comes on it, attack does 60 more. Oh, this is interesting. Let's go back to Krabby. This attack does 10 damage for each of your opponent's Pokemon. Alright. I mean, this Kingler is kind of like 150 damage. I mean, it's a stage 1. Maybe as, you know, as like a filler card for the water type. Or in some water type decks. I definitely see someone who is building a Kingler deck. Right, Lapras V. Alright, the water type V. So what Rama was waiting for. And look at that. I mean, sorry, if you're gonna say this is not looking good. I don't know what is. This is really the art of those cards. I mean, you have to sometimes you know, sit down and appreciate the art. It looks great. But let's let's take a look at the attacks. So we've got Wave Back for one colorless. Attach one water energy from your hand to this Pokemon. Then switch this Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. Alright, so if you're going to start with it, like unfortunate start, because it has to enter to retreat. Sorry. Uh, you can... Okay, this is like a nice retreat into something else. Into Lily's Pokedoll, for example. Just so you're not, you're not going to waste... In Lapras, even though you started with it, uh, and you have the uh, extra attachment, not actually that bad, right? Because then you know you have your Lily's Pokédoll front, you have Rosa maybe in hand, Lily's gets knocked out. Uh, memory energy. Why uh, with Ocean Loop? All right, let's see a Ocean Loop. Right, so three Water Type, one Coralless. If you start with it, uh, things have to be on the bench for Frostmoth to attach to. Yeah, exactly, right? I mean, it's it's not a bad attack, and... Honestly... If you start with it, like, you have to start with it, and you have to go second, right? So, Ocean Loop, 210 damage, return to water energy from this Pokémon to your hand. See, like, the problem is here, kind of, because we don't have really something that attaches a lot of energy from hand to the water-type Pokémons. So, like, this return, there's no welder, right? You know, you, okay, you have bead that can help you. Or am I missing aqua patch? I mean, I know, Glace, you're gonna tell me that. Uh, we ha we do have Frostmove. Oh, yeah, we do. Right, Frostmove does that. Really, Frostmove does that? Oh, from Sword and Shield. Okay, I, we're not there yet. We're not there yet with Frostmouth. Uh, what does it say? Give me the card text. Uh, as often as you like during your turn, you may attach a basic energy card from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon. All oh, right, never mind. So we got a Frostmouth. Okay, it works great with Frostmouth. So now we know. You see, things that you, you said that, because I haven't went to the Frostmouth. Like, where is it? Yeah, it's probably like somewhere uh, down uh, down the bottom. So I would come pro come back probably to this card and be like, all right, it it it, it, it it's that. Yeah, it's way down. Yeah, like you know, I would probably come back to to, to this card as I was reviewing. But okay, so with Frostmoth, I can see this happening. Not all right. So this definitely you know changes uh, how I feel about the card. Let's take a look at the V Max though. G Max Pump. This attack does 15 more damage for each Water Type Energy. It does uh, the same damage as the VMAX for the same damage, which isn't bad. Yeah. That's true. I mean, I can see people trying to play this VMAX similar to they, how they play... Uh, how they, they play... Magikarp Waylord. Just, you know, pour the energy on it. Like with Baby Blastoise. Right, you know, since... Yeah, like, weakness to lighting, uh... What's, yeah, exactly, like, what's worth noting, there's a lot of weakness changes, right? Like, you see grass type all the... Like, water type being all the way on uh, lightning type. Water type. 
fire type, so they changed that. And the fact that Pikram is, you know, walking around, but at the same time, I think for the first attack, for the wave back, yeah, Dark is weak to grass now, but I think with the wave back, you can actually go for the weakness guard energy, and you're not really losing anything, to be quite honest. If you go for that weakness guard, you're not really con uh, concerned anymore uh, about about uh, the lightning type weakness and you can still use the first attack retreat get that second energy and just start slowly fueling it so it might be this way right because then you know, when you v max you know you already have because also you know it's colorless of course it's more for each water type but if, you know you can start Instead of memory, you can just go with weakness guard here, if you're really concerned about that. Alright, so Montaigne. Another just filler card. Uh, Searcher deck for... Oh, maybe not. For up to three water uh, energies. Reveal them and put them into your hand and shuffle your deck. Okay. This looks like, you know, a theme deck type of card. Let's take a look at Drizzle, because there's an ability on Drizzle before Intilion. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may search your deck for one trainer card, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Definitely some options for the evolution spray here, and this really helps fix a lot of things. Especially if you're trying to get yourself to this, those stage 2s. And until I believe it does the same thing, right? Yeah, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one, you search for two. So definitely a lot of options in terms of like the evolution spray to have a consistent, you know, hand off stuff of the answers to what is happening on the board. But also definitely it will help you get to where you need to. And the Aqua Bullet. 120 damage plus 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Not really the most powerful. But it's consistent part, right? It's yeah, for water type, I feel like water type needed something like that. Like they needed a consistency card. Uh, definitely they needed a consistency card, and this just provides that. Yeah, like Mantin, I mean there's not I'm for the Frost Moth, you know, you can go Mantine, but I don't know if I mean, we can try. We're still not in the format, um, but I don't know. I don't know if I would go for the Frostmoth. I would rather have, you know, uh, my Lapras attacking just this and this attachment. But the Intilion, really good card. Honestly, really good card. And all, all these three starters, I think, you know, they're going to be really good, right? Uh, we're getting uh, an item that searches for two water energies from, uh, yeah, a bucket. We're getting a bucket, right? Yes, we're getting a bucket. So, Boltant. That's alright, so this is electric type. That's what interests me uh, as an electric type player. So, let's take a look at uh, Boltant. I like this pattern. I like this uh, pattern for, for, for the hollow. I like the change. Alright, so, Big Bite, 50 damage. Your opponent's active Pokemon can retreat during your opponent's next turn. And one Lightning to Colorless. Lightning Bite, 90 plus damage if your opponent's active Pokemon is a V card, does 90 more damage. Okay, so it does 180 on the V. Well, that's a stage one. But at the same time, you know, it's one price attacker, 180. There are Electro Powers, but getting to him. And then again, you know, you're kind of assuming that. Yeah, like you assuming that your opponent does play a lot of V cards, and yeah, it's still not Zapdos. Like I don't think you know, he can beat Zapdos. He can beat you know all of that stuff that Lightning type has in their arsenal right now. Uh, Pinkerchen. All right, so his V Max is actually pretty cool, but this is not a V Max. It's just Shock Needle, thirty times damage. Flip four coins. This deck does thirty damage for each heads. If flip heads two or more times, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. Well, for par uh, for paralysis, for 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 like weird decks that are going on PTCGO, sure, competitively. N I don't think for like I don't think you know someone is going to be that crazy to take this to a large tournament and run with it. 
Maybe I'm wrong. Let's look at that Gustly line and... Alright, so Hunter. So I saw yesterday a PCG Radio put the video about this deck. So this is the card that goes with the Mew3 and on Undidi. That is winning right now also in Japan. Like every deck is winning in Japan, I know. But let's take a look at the card because I haven't checked the card and I've only heard good things about it. So as often as you like during your turn, before you attack, you may move a damage counter from one of your... Psychic Pokemon to another of your Psychic Pokemon. And have no blast, 90 damage. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. Okay. I mean, I, 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 I can see that. I, I can see people, you know, uh, liking this ability. What I can say then. Trying to figure out how it would work. But again, I haven't went to Undidi yet, I haven't went to, 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 to the other psychic types. So let's keep that guy in mind, let's keep that hunter in mind as we go in his ability. Because right now he's just moving, right? So he's doing kind of similar thing as uh, Jinx. To be quite honest, right? But this is this one from psychic to psychic. And Jinx was moving from whatever, if I remember correctly. So, well, but fat. You have to do it like that. So, we gotta step back. Switch all damage counters on this Pokemon with those on your opponent's active Pokemon. Oh, this is... Okay, this is interesting. So, I mean... Alright, Shadow Blind. 70 damage. The Fanny Pokemon can retreat during your opponent's next turn. So, you can kind of, you know, like, pump him. Like, put a lot of damage on. Play a spell tag, just put, you know, 10 damage on your opponent's Pokemon. Switch it. But then, you know, you have to try to finish it off with Shadow Blind or, or Bind or anything like that. Definitely an interesting strategy. Uh, how much is the retreat? Three retreat cost, that's a lot. But we've got switches. I mean, I can see that. I, I can see deck around it. I mean, we have saw Cyglyph with ability, well, not the same, but... He was just hitting back for the same amount, so... With Gengar, it might actually be, 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 be a tech card, or might be, might be a deck around it, but I do still think uh, I would prefer Jinx. With moving the damage, I would still prefer Jinx. Because then, you know, you play like Spirit Tombs, Rainbow Energy... No, but that's, that's a bad idea. Um, but some Rainbow Energy, you know, you start putting the damage. Spiritums actually is not a bad idea, because you have the constant flow of the damage that you can just put on the Wobbuffet and then attack. So definitely, you know, um, not a bad idea, but I don't feel like this is for my... Maybe not yet. Let's see, Poltygeist. Hello, sir. Tea time, both players draw two cards. 50 times damage or opponents reveal their hands attack like this. 50 damage for each trainer card you find there. All right, so this is... But I want to say Poltergeist. This is literally a Poltergeist from... Oh, this is all right. This is attack from Gengar and Mimikyu. And I can see this, like... You see, you know, this is the thing. This is stage one. I know it's uh, easier to get stage ones. But I feel like people will try to do it with Omastar. And you know, HP is 60. You can you can get it with Elm. So, yeah, of uh, this being a 0-1 in Malamar, to be used with Malamar. Yeah. That's also a thing, right? Like I'm I'm thinking about it and Ditto Prism. Yeah. It's... I feel like this is gonna be a deck. I think this is gonna be a deck and... People will try to, 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 to put it. And I mean, uh, for Malamar decks, that might be a tag card for Malamars. Easily, right? You got a Ditto, and you just slap it on the Ditto and you can attack. And, you know, that's definitely you know, against control decks. That might be not a stupid idea because they genuinely, like, generally, they have a big hand size. 
and they don't really expect someone you know to, to, to utilize their own hand size against them unless it is uh, the Gagari Miku tag team so that definitely might be a tag card for, for, for as you said for the Malamar really interesting card well like even with Aurora energy actually even with Aurora energy that might be a tech card in a few other decks right like this may work in a few other decks as a tech card with Aurora energy really cool card so the Udo what do we have here clay doll there we go stage two or stage one actually let's check grab locked grab locked uh, two fighting type energies, uh, the attacks of your opponent's active Pokemon require two colorless more, and it can't retreat. This effect lasts until this Pokemon is no longer your active Pokemon, and you can't apply more than one Octolock at a time. Oh, dude. I love it. Combine it with, like, Omastar. And you have Hard Swing, 130 damage, damage isn't affected by resistance. Um, I have mean Custom Catchers, they can break it. But I feel like online, um, IRL, yeah, IRL it might not happen, but I think online, like day, like first week, that might be big, like online. Just like Kabutops and Omastar were. Right, you remember everyone wanted to play it. Not really, you know, happened. Not really a good deck, but everyone played it. And I do think you know when people see luck, they are like driven towards it, and a lot of people will play him like during the first week or two, just to try uh, how the luck actually works. But 130 damage, the fact that it isn't affected by resistance, that that hurts him like a lot because against the Pikaram, Nermal and Lana. Um, but it's your active Pokemon, right? So I think it works on as long as his here. Wait, attack your Pokemon's attack. Less until this Pokemon is longer your right. So as long as this. Oh, by reason, sorry, my mistake. Yeah, so you need one shot a uh, Picaram. But so he has to stay on the board. I don't think it switching would clear the effect. I feel like this is gonna be the card that we're gonna need the FAQ for. Or the, how the English card is. Because is, uh, this is just a translation, right? It might be a m mistake here. Yeah, but you know, uh, you see, like, the, the thing is, you know, is it? Depend I'm. I want to see the full translation because remember, last time we we're uh, doing those decks, never wanted to hug you. But as an ability, yeah, definitely it would be better. Right, Stone Drawer. We all know this little fella. So guard press forty damage during your opponent's next turn. This Pokemon takes 20 less damage and Mega Kick 150. <coughs> not the best, not the worst, it's like somewhere in the middle. I mean, I think you know, there's you know more hype about this guy. You know, this is the VMAX that was shown as a first VMAX ever, 330 HP. Let's take a look. Stone Gift, attach one uh, fighting energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon, then heal 120 damage from that Pokemon. Not bad. Especially with 330 uh, damage, uh, HP, sorry, my mistake. And max rockfall to 100 damage. I mean, it's quite simple. It does what it does. I know there's a lot of fans of Stone Drawer. I know there's a lot of people that want to brew him. But I still think he might be a little bit slower. 
Like, I like the healing part, right? So if whatever you know is attacking, you can still heal and attach to your to him to himself, right? To yourself. Without using Malwan Lana or, uh, or or anything else or great potions, no, because it's GXs. But I don't see this as a stall deck, you know. Maybe, but it needs a right deck. Let's go to Krogonok and Toxicroak. Right, Toxicroak. This is literally sure. See you tomorrow, my friend. Take care, and yeah, hopefully you will see that video as I'm gonna upload it. <laughs> Right, right, so we got a Toxic Rogue, and this is literally a Sue Viper. Nothing else. With uh, some other cards in the set, it can uh, have 200 per turn without items or supporters on. Yeah, like, I still haven't went to, to, to the items. Right. We'll see. Um, so we got a Toxic Rogue, okay. We got a Toxic Rogue. That's Sue Viper. Uh, you know, po uh, if your Pokemon's, if your opponent's active Pokemon is poison, you put two more damage counters on it for poison. So just like stage one, Sue Viper. Again, another thing that people try to brew for the poison decks to have like a full bench with them. It's stage one. I, you see, this is my problem. You know, it's a stage one. So I was putting one or two. I think Survivor was putting two. Wait. Survivor TCJ. Was one or two? Oh yeah, it was one. Right, so it's two Survivors. I mean, it can work with the Dust Island. With Mook Mook. Because those are the decks that, you know, played two Vipers. I mean, it looks good. I mean, I want it to be good, to be quite honest with you. I want it to be good. I want it to work. I mean, if you would set up, like, two of them, plus Kogus Trap, that's 50 damage per turn. With some nice Dark type attacks. Yeah, this might happen. Thievul. Your opponent uh, reveal their hand, choose a card you find there, and your opponent puts that card on the bottom of their deck. And Darkness Fang, 90 damage for Darkness and Colorless. Now let's go to Galar and Pass Saka in a pre release promo, right? In this you can get at the pre release promo, as a pre release promo. Ability The attacks of your metal type Pokemon do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. Well, I can see this in Mel type decks, but not in like Zacian. I can see this more in in, in Lucario Mel Metal type of thing, or any stall decks, or maybe you know, even uh, in Galarian Persian deck itself. Yes, it does stack. I, I think it does stack. So if you have like two, that's forty more. But this also makes it, yeah, this puts Zacian, Zacian higher, but it depends how you want to play Zacian, like if you want, if you would go like classic the ADP one, or you would just go Zacian and, of two of them to uh, hit 270 with Zacian, yeah, I mean like idea of two of them, you know, 40 more, and 270 damage that you can deal with Zacian, you know, definitely is, is, is nice. Plus, if you know, if you, that's 300 if you already used ADP's GX. Plus, you take 30 less if you have a metal frying pan, right? So, definitely, you know, this is the card that people will brew for the Zacian decks. The question is, you know, how fast you can set it up. But it's not bad. But it's really not bad. Uh, Ferrothorn, a great, great, great Pokemon for the VGC. Yeah, I mean, there's, I know there's a promo, I said, uh, Ogilar and Meow. Yeah, uh, it's a pre-release promo, just like for Frostmouth. This is the pre-release promo, so you might actually get that at the pre-release, right? So Frostmouth, this, um, oh, you mean the, oh, this card too search for Perserker. Oh, you mean that, oh, you mean Meow, all right, Meow, 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 never mind. 
So there's a pro meow. Uh, discard two cards, search for Persaka. So almost similar to Duskull, but Duskull already evolved that, right? Okay, and with discarding card, you won't, you know, you may actually discard metal type energy and play those new metal patches. I forgot the name of, but I know there are metal patches that bring back the metal type energy on your metal type Pokemon, so you can actually fuel your bench Zacian if you want to, right? Or anything else that has a metal typing on them. So, not, not, not actually. Uh, I believe Roar once. During your turn before you attack, you may discard two cards. So, uh, Pesarka reveal and put it into your hand. Yeah. There we go. Feral Thorn, triple smash. Stage one, of course. Uh, flip three coins. The dog does 30 damage for each heads. And energy slap, 100 damage. You move all energy attached to this Pokemon to one of your benched Pokemon. Uh, could have been a little, a little bit better. Glaring Stunfisk. Oh, let's see. If this Pokemon takes damage from an attack of your opponent's active uh, Pokemon, discard one energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Okay. Um, damage rush, 30 plus damage flips a coin until you get Tails. This attack does 30 damage more for each heads. I mean, it's fine for the pre release. I, I, I definitely. Outside. Well, I guess. Not really. Covenite, pack 50 damage and Iron Wing 130 damage. You may discard two energy from this Pokemon. If you do, this Pokemon takes 100 less damage from attacks during your opponent's next turn. Again, we've got a metal patches, so we can bring back some energy. And the Zacian V, the Mr. Zacian V, again, talked about this card many, many times. Brave Blade, 230 damage, literally the same attack as. as, as, as. Um, Reshiram. Reshazad, sorry Reshazad, and of course the ability that's really good if you go first, once in your turn you may look at top three cards, attach the any number of energy that's metal type to your, uh, that you find there, to this Pokemon, put the other cards into your hand, your turn ends, A really good card if you go first, you don't have to, you know, and again, this is like the main attacker, this is, as we said, right, with uh, Parasaka, with one, that's 270. Like with two, sorry, with two, that's 270 uh, plus. You've used ADP GX, that's a 300. It's just a great, great, great attack on the two prizer. I'm gonna take it every night a day. The only problem is that, you know, it might actually. Well, you have to play Metal Frying Pan on it. Like, there's just no doubt about it. So, you're not gonna get super easily knocked out by Picaram or anything else. Right, so Mill Frank Pan definitely here. Minchino, but more importantly, Chinchino, the new Zorark GX. Once during your turn, there he is, that's how he looks like. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may discard a card from your hand. If you do, draw two cards. So it's similar to trade ability, which we know trade made decks super consistent. But the thing is, you know, uh, again, Zorark was also a great attacker. Here we've got energy card assist. 40 damage, attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to one of your benched Pokemon. So not really you know, a huge attack, like not really an attack that you want to have. I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, this is still a great card. This just fixes so many things. But again, you know, Zorark could have attacked here. Not really the best attack in the world. Let's go down with the Cramoran. Down with the Cramoran V. Let's take a look at this little fella. Big catch. Search your deck for up to two cards and put them into your hand and shuffle your deck. Alright, not bad. And a split shot. Discard all energy from this Pokemon stack. Does six, uh, 160 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. So it's more, you know, if you want to snipe something. Which, yeah, it, 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 it does make sense. If, if you want, you know, snipe something, uh, if you have a welder, you know, to put those three energies. Yeah, literally, the Dana killer, right? Like, that's why I think, you know, people are playing less and less the Danics. That's why you don't see a lot of them in Japan. You know, there's just too many ways right now to get rid of the Dana, and those are two prizes. Like, you can play Mew, right? Alright, Incense, search your deck 
for the evolution Pokemon, or don't put it in your hand. Tier 1 card, easily great card. Hyper Potion, discard 2 energies from one of your Pokemon if you do heal 120 damage. I mean, I feel like in an install deck this is gonna find its place, definitely. Not everywhere, but to some. Fishing Rod, shuffle up to 2 Pokemon and 2 basic energies. A lot better than, than, than Lana's Fishing Rod, to be quite honest with you. I would rather play this than Lana's Fishing Rod. If you're not really caring about the tools. Uh, Rotten Bike. Draw a card until you have 6 cards in your hand, your turn ends. So again, another card that, well, you can play turn 1. Because, you know, your turn is going to end and you're drawing up to 6. So yeah, this is like an item to play during your first turn. That's how I, I treat it. And you know, it might be, it might be good for the first turn, but that's it. And the Giant Charm. Oh, I love that. Giant Charm. Attach uh, a Pokemon tool to one of your Pokemon. Of course, uh, Pokemon attached to gets 30 more HP. Peak ROM <coughs> becomes 170. Uh, we've got ADPs that are going to grow. All those mods are going to have 30 more. And 30 more is a lot. Because they will be out of reach. Uh, for some decks, so definitely this is gonna be a great card, a card that everyone will want to have at least copy of uh, in their decks, or maybe two. Air Balloon, the retreat cost of the Pokemon is two colorless. Less, which is all... well, this is not like, uh, like, like the Floatstone, but for many, you know, many cards it might actually work like that, because after, you know, getting rid of two cost, you have a free retreat cost, right? So definitely a great one if you need a lot of switching in between. Lumberry. At the end of your turn, if this Pokemon uh, is we're gonna is attached to, it's affected by any special condition, remove it. All right. So yes, yeah, so this is just like in VGC, you just remove the conditions. New Sycamore, right? Professor Magnolia, new Sycamore. Bead. You can attach one energy uh, from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon. Not a bad card. Not a bad card. I can see few decks actually working with this. <sighs> we are in halfway through. We are halfway through. It's a long one. Alright, let's just go to Orbital. In the shield part, Orbital Bug Radar. Once on your turn, before you attack, you may look at the top three cards of your opponent's deck and put them back in any order. You Well, that's not... Chip Chip Ice Axe, but almost. Wave 90 damage, uh, this is uh, 30 more damage, times the amount of Psychic type energy attached to this Pokemon. Oh, that is interesting. With the Psychic type energy attached to it. Torcoil V, there we go. Another really nice V card, 110 HP. Let's take a look at the attacks. Flame Pillar, 90 plus damage. Discard the top card of your deck. If that card uh, is card, it's a fire type, and if this attack does 90 more. I can see this attack easily coming with 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 uh, Macargo, baby Macargo, just to set up your top card. And the Steam Crush, 120 damage. Discard two energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Again, big cost, but there are welders and discarding two energies from your opponent's uh, Pokemon may be devastating sometimes. But definitely you know, with my cargo, I can see this deck working quite, quite, quite well. Let's go to Cinderace. And Cinderace, what are you doing? Once in your turn, when this Pokemon moves from your bench to active spot, you may attach up to two energy cards from your discard pile to it. This is quite good, actually. Because you attach the one from your hand, you switch, and you put two. Then you again switch, right? You play switch like as an item. You switch, you know, let's say uh, drudge with a skateboard. You attack again. So you have this nice flow of attack. But if you're gonna set it up, 190 damage from the baby one, not bad actually. But you know, you have to have this nice flow of 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 things and energy in the discard pile as well. I mean, like. I, whenever I see something like that, right, I do want to play, uh, I do want to play Drafarig and just, you know, put all that energy from Scarpile to a lost zone. Let's take a look at Quillfish over here. We've got, is this, uh, if, there it is, that's the card. It looks really nice. It, it doesn't look bad. It looks nice. It, it looks rather nice. 
if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon and it's damaged by a punch attack, attacking Pokemon is poisoned. Venom Shock 10 plus. If your Pokemon opens active Pokemon is not poisoned, this attack does 60 more damage. That's a pre release card. Like, that is honestly a pre release winner. Don't get me wrong, but if you can pull this off at the pre release, that might be a really good card. Because at pre release, you know, the damage output is not high. I mean, there's 70 you know, HP plus the poison that is happening. I can see this, you know, being a really nice, uh, nice card. And Quillfish, hey, how's it going? Easy Rob, hello. Say hello to YouTube. Could it be a turn one KO. Yeah, it could. It could be. It actually could be. Really nice card, you know, for the pre-release, definitely. Let's go for Dredna. I mean, not really anything that we can talk about. Uh, a Dredna here. Stage one. Clamping bite for one water two colorless 60 plus damage attack does 30 more damage for each colorless for each Sometimes active Pokemon okay, it's okay for each energy or for each energy cost of the uh, of My opponent's active Pokemon retreat all right with Absols that might be quite cool. Uh, Jawlock, 130, your opponent's active Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn. Sorry, listening to music and eating grilled cheese. <laughs> Say hello to your fiance. And there we go, that's a Frost Move. We're talking about another pre release promo. Again, as often as you like during your turn, you may attach a water type energy card from your hand to one of your benched Pokemon. It's as often as you like. So if you have three, um, this means you can you know, attach all three. So there we go, another promo. I mean, we talked about him uh, with the Lapras and all the things there, so I'm not going to you know, repeat myself. Let's go to more Peko or more Pico and how amazing this card is for the Hidden Run decks. I mean, easily. All right, in terms of graphics, in terms of like, the design, meh, not the best one. If you compare it to the other ones, right? But Spark 20 damage, this attack does 20 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Uh, so, you know, you actually got 20 20, right? So, you want on the bench, one on an active. Then we've got Electric Wheel, 150 damage. Discard energy from this Pokemon, then switch with one of your banished Pokemon. So, again, we start having this, you know, this is the whole thing. You want to switch out, switch in and out, in and out, in and out, which is really good, especially if, I, if you have like two more Picos you can attack with. Great. But there's also a VMAX that looks a lot better. Let me tell you, this looks a lot excuse me, a lot, a lot better. And in the same uh, attack cost, 180 damage. This attack does 20 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon, which is a nice spread damage that you can deal. And this, you know, this is more of a finisher than you know, normal attacker, but also if you can you know, just have like two turns of only attacking with him, really good. Definitely you know, a great addition to, to, to lightning type decks, especially that this can be a deck on its own. Makes him really, really good. Uh, we've got a Ponita. What a nice English Ponita. Of course, let's take a look at Galarian. Uh, Rapid Dash. I mean, each of your Pokemon can't be affected by any special conditions. Remove any special condition affecting those Pokemon. So, this is like a straight counter towards Toxic Rogue, towards Quillfish, all of that stuff. And we got, we had some more card in the past, which was Diance, I believe. Uh, a fairy type, if I'm correct, I might be wrong on that, but uh, it was the answer. Like it was fairy type. No, comfy. That was comfy. So we got a comfy that worked. That you know, with the exact same, exact same ability. That you know, your uh, Pokemon can't be affected by any, any, any uh, conditions. And let's take a look at attack. Psychic, 30 plus damage. Attack does 30 more damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Okay. Definitely, know, there's a Pokemon that uses a lot of energy. That might be interesting attack. Undidi or Indidi, watch over. Once during your turn, you may heal 20 damage from your active Pokemon. So this goes with the Conjurer, as we spoke. And the Psychic 10 plus. This attack does 60 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. And that is getting interesting right now because this might actually work. 
right? So normally you see like three energies being attached, it's like 180, 190 with this. You can actually, you know, start healing stuff. Not bad, not a bad card at all. Hitmon Lee, Hitmon Chan. Uh, let's take a look over here. Galarian Zigzagoon. There we go. Galarian Obstagoon. Smiling, laughing, rock and rolling. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your uh, Pokemon during your turn, you may put three damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. The Evolution Spray, baby. This is going to be a deck with the Evolution Spray. Sable IV. Look, looking good. You know, you see, like this more Pico card is not looking as good as, as, as I would want it to look like. Uh, but I have to launch uh, TCG. So, gonna do that as well. Sorry for that. There we go. So, uh, we've got those two attacks the one dark type energy or search, put a trainer card from your discard pile into your hand. All right, you know, not bad. And we've got a second one, Wicked Claws, 10 plus damage attack, does 60 more damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. So this has to go with some kind of a spread deck. This has to go with decks that can already deal some damage to the Mon, and then you just finish it off with, 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 uh, with Sable IV, because this is like a great finisher. Because, I mean, after like what? Let's say four damage counters, right? So this is... 240 damage after a spell tag on a Pokemon. Not a bad idea here. Scroopy, drop you on metal types, Bisharps, Zamzentavi. There we go. That's where we're going. Dauntless Shield, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon V Max. I don't think there's gonna be enough of V Maxes yet to make this card relevant, to make this card really good. But I do think you know, after the next set, after the second Sword and Shield set, maybe after rotation, this might see more and more play as more and more VMAX cards will be played. And also tackle this card special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. It's fine. Um, it might be a tech card for the ADP decks, for the Zacian decks, but I don't see this you know, being like the tier 1 for now. For the future, definitely, but not, not, not for now. Let's go to Snorlax V and the V Max. So we got a Snorlax V. All right, looking okay, looking okay. Soul up, 60 damage, heal from this Pokemon, uh, the same amount of damage you did to your opponent's active Pokemon. And falling down, 170 damage. This Pokemon is asleep. Simple as that, for retreat cost. Let's look at the VMAX actually, so GMAX falls 60 plus and this attack does 30 more damage for each of your benched Pokemon which makes him really really good. For 3 colorless, 340, 340 HP, that's not bad. Like that is really not bad. If you, know, if you really want to you know, pull this off, I think this might be a real 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 threat to some. Oranguru, once on your turn, you may switch card from your hand with the top of card of your deck. Might actually go with Macargos, with anything that just sets up what you have on top of your deck. And again, Quick Ball, search for the basic. Put it into your hand. Tier 1 card, already. Already got 8, eight of those. Because there's Narata, you can use all old ones. Rare Candy, we all know. Mel Saucer, yeah, that's a Mel Patch. Mel Salsa, Mel Patch, right? You put Mel type energy back from the Scarpal to one of your Mel, yeah, and you attach it to one of your Mel type Pokemons. Cyrus Berry, at the end of each player's turn, if the Pokemon this card is attached to has at least three damage counters, heal three, 30 damage from it. So you just heal. And you heal 30 damage each turn. Uh, Fire Band is a deck of Pokemon uh, this card is attached to do 10 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon, which puts cards like Picaram in range of Zacian and puts it in range of uh, of Reshizot. You have to be careful. Lucky Egg, again, uh, already you can purchase Lucky Eggs because that is a reprint. And if your opponent, if your Pokemon gets knocked out, you draw cards until you have seven in your hand. Team Yell Grunt, put an energy from your opponent's uh, Pokemon into their hand. Kind of lazy art, I would say. I, I would want to see like a little bit different background. But it's fine. Marnie, amazing card, definitely goes to every disruption deck. Both players shuffle their hands without looking at, and 
put them at the bottom of their decks. Then you draw five cards and your opponent draws four cards, right? So you know you're not gonna draw those, 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 uh, the same card. And Aurora Energy, the tier one energy, you attach it to one of your Pokemons and you discard an energy, uh, you discard a card from your hand and this goes well with ADP and all the metal patches in the world and Pico Rams, you know, Tapu Coco Prism and anything, anything else. So this is my review. I think the set is really cool. I think the set is really nice, really good and it's gonna change a lot of things, especially with the new rule change. So I can't wait. I can't wait for the pre-release events. I can't wait for that and I hope you can't wait as well and I think that was a quite okay review, right? That was not a bad review, wasn't it? Alright, so subscribe to the YouTube channel, don't forget about that. Alright,